Today I'm going to show you how to tie an extended body for a mayfly. For this you will need a poly dubbing or a very fine dubbing that uh, has long fibers. I used fly right poly dubbing for this example and uh, this is what I was using when I started tying this back in the early 90s. Uh, to create the body I use a thick needle so the body will have some uh, bulk to it and make it more hollow so more air trapped in it so it'll float. The uh, I use Slores Flex uh, glue or UV resin to uh, to bind or to secure the the body and uh, it has to be flexible before the UV came out uh, I used to use Dave's Flex Cement which works really really well as I've tied thousands of these for commercially for fly shops so the, the tail of this fly I use moose body hair uh, I find I'll take it and when I cut it off I will then take and line up the tips and once I line up the tips I take the back side and trim and what that does is that lines the back up so if it moves it's easier to line it up by pushing the back and adjusting than it is trying to find which tip is what so first what I do is I put a little bit of glue on the on the darning needle I then take your fly right poly dubbin and just lay it against the uh, the needle and it'll start to wrap itself. This is very easy when using the Norvice because uh, the full rotary makes it very quick. Before this I used to use a pin vise in my hand and uh, with the needle in it and it was a little bit longer or whatever but this works really well. So I've laid the the tail fibers uh, on top with the poly over it and then as I spin it will tighten down and and lash them to the needle. Now to make this fly very strong you slowly move the fibers of the poly back and forth in a weaving action and what that does is it crisscrosses and gives it strength so when it's glued at the end it will it, it makes it almost indestructible. I've used this fly uh, off a brown trout tying a green drake and over 20 fish chewed the fly to a point to where there was no hackle or anything left on it and it was only a body and it still worked. So again just uh, work the dub, uh, the poly back and forth over it until it covers the needle. You can look through and see the needle and any of the shiny spots so you can know if it might need a little bit more. I'm just going to add a little bit more here. You don't want it too thick because I use they punch the hook through the body when I when I secure it and it's kind of hard and you don't need the bulk. You'll realize when tying this fly you don't need it as big. Now uh, you can use the same process to make caddis fly bodies, stone fly bodies, any type of body you want. And like I say the great thing is when you're done it's hollow, flexible and strong. And I've been like tying these since like I say the early 90s. So basically I've just put the poly on, went down and back. You can push the, 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 the back part of it or I should say the closest to the, the head of the fly would be backwards a little bit and let them wind over. If there's any polys that are going over the tail, vice versa, push it forward. And then once that's done Add a little bit more UV, not too much. I usually use my finger, but I'll use my thumb just so you can see. And then I just kind of like spread it around it a little bit. Put the two together and kind of rub it in there. Make sure you get the end by that where the tail is coming out because it tends to be missed sometimes. There. Now we just shoot a little UV on it. Take it, grasp between your thumb and your finger, and just back and forth a little bit, and it comes right off. And there you have it an easy extended mayfly body. Now, I'd let this cure in the sun or whatever, make sure it's still really dry. I usually tie hundreds at a time or however many, and you can do it in different colors and different sizes. And then, when it comes time to finishing off the fly, which I'll show you later, uh, we'll do that up. So, there's a simple way of making an extended bodied. Uh, that is strong, hollow, and flexible, and it works really great. And it doesn't have to be uh, fly right. You can use any fine poly. I've actually even used uh, uh, Semperfly's uh, uh, 
sparkle dubbing and other types of dubbing. Like I say, uh, K-Pock is a little harder to do unless you're doing really, really, really small flies because the fiber is very, very short, but it's fine enough to do it, but it's just a little harder to do it. So you can experiment with whatever. You can put a thread on it and do a segmentation before you're finished. Uh, but this here, I mean, it works really good and it's fast.